The Honors Banquet is fairly unique. I know Mr. Clark brought it to St. Genevieve from Potosi. Um, I don't think there's very many schools where we do actually honor individual students for each of our classes. I think the Honors Banquet is a really good idea. I think it shows we reward the kids for working hard in the classroom. I think the Honors Banquet is a great thing. It's a great opportunity for the students who have worked very hard academically to be celebrated. You know, those kids work hard for a long time and they've got a lot of extracurricular things going on and they've got just a lot of things going on in life. And It's, it's hard to find time to do all the, the necessary academic stuff and the extra academic stuff to be able to get uh, good grades, be the top 10% of their class or whatever it may be. So I like the banquet. I think it's a great thing. And the kids that get invited to that are very deserving. I think it's a fantastic honor for all the kids to get the opportunity to go to the honors ceremony. It really shows the hard work and dedication that they've put into their education, whether it be them being in the top 10% of their class or earning a class award. It just shows that they've really excelled through the process of education and that they've worked hard and done what they need to do to make sure that they maintain the grades and do what they're supposed to do in the class. So it's a great honor. I give great kudos to those students who have made the effort and to the parents and to the teachers that's given them this opportunity. So what the Dan Clark Honor Ceremony means to me is it means the celebration of all the things that we do well around here. It means honoring those students who normally don't get honored but who come in every day and do exceptional things for me. And the way I see it, I can sit here and continue to tell you all the great things and what Mr. Clark saw that started this ceremony or I could say, hey, you know what? Just come with me and let's see it for ourselves. Okay, so right now we're standing right outside Mrs. Cooper's room where there's an art class taking place behind me. Uh, this is one of my favorite areas of the school because it gives the chance to see some students doing creative works and they work in all different kinds of media here. Uh, pencil, pen and ink, um, clay, sculpture, ceramics, all different kinds of things. And we've seen some really great works here and, and things that might not otherwise uh, get recognized. And the honor ceremony gives us a chance to recognize students who excel in art. Other opportunities throughout the year as well, but this one is, is certainly the culmination of their efforts. Okay, so we're standing outside Mr. Schweiss's room right now, which is number 225. Uh, Mr. Schweiss often will be eager to tell you about all the wonderful education that takes place in 225. Uh, and even though it, that is true, that there are wonderful things taking place behind me in Mr. Schweiss's room, uh, it's just an example of the education that takes place here at St. Jen High School in general. Again, he is a fine, wonderful example, and his students are too. But the truth is, there's good education all around here. Well, here we are in the R.W. Thomas Library, and it might seem like an odd place for us to celebrate academic achievement because there's no specific award for a library. But if you think about it, the library does a lot to support all of our academic studies. And this is accomplished through the hard work of Mrs. Marner, Mrs. Hook, and Mrs. Johnson. And we appreciate them and everything that they do for us, and, and they truly are supporters of academics of all kinds. And we thank them for that. And all the hard work and energy that's put into a department such as our foreign language, we just wanted to take this opportunity to say congratulations. Complimenti. On a great job. And the students in the business department that bring you great things such as this video also wanted to take an opportunity to say. So to wrap it up, let's just say this. It doesn't matter if it's the high quality education that's taking place up in 225, as Mr. Schweiss would say, or the great support staff that we have working for us in the library, the creative projects that come out of the business department and the art department, those things are all important, but they really all come together in one great way and reminds us that no matter what, St. Jen will shine. <laughs>